Hi, everybody. This is Tiffany. I hope everyone's having a great morning. So I came on to tell you guys what happened last night and um, what to look out for if Father Guy is already alerting you regarding a certain thing. So um, I had a dream last night and I was there was I was putting my uh, key in the door and this was like a big guy, a big burly guy. Right. And it was um, the same guy I saw in another vision. Um, he reminded me of a doorman in New York. He, he had red hair and he was a big burly dude, whatever. So um, <laughs> so yesterday I had the dream of me putting my key in the door and this person looked at me and was it was dark looked at me and was walking towards me. So I was about to put my key in the door, but because he was so close, I didn't turn the the key because I knew that he would have rushed me through the door or whatever. So I stood there and right when uh, he got close, that's when I knew that I couldn't fight him off. So I started to try to pray. So the reason why I'm coming on today is because I couldn't pray. And what do I tell you guys about when you cannot pray? You have an open door, right? So Father God wanted me to come on and share this with you guys because of what just happened yesterday. Um, so I'm going to give you guys now a backstory on what I just received yesterday. And this is why I couldn't pray. So because I couldn't pray, it was like it was kind of it was sort of like sleep paralysis, but then it wasn't because I was able to start praying because it was like trying to shut your, my mouth in a way to stop praying, but it wasn't like I was fighting to get up. And what do I tell you guys about when you fighting to get up? This does not happen to me. Okay. This haven't happened to me in years. And this happened to me last night. So I received something yesterday morning. So I placed an order with someone, right? And the day before that, I could have swore I woke up and I was being told not to eat this thing. But then I brushed it off because I was thinking about it. And I was like, I think I'm not supposed to eat it, right? But I wasn't sure because nothing came back to me regarding that. But the person came. And because of so much back and forth with the 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 delivery and everything, this person gave me an extra, right? So an extra is what? An extra is a gift right? So anyway, this person gave it to me. Once the exchange happened with her giving me the bag, I took the bag. And then it was like a, you know, a little conversation, but it was still a weird conversation. I came upstairs with the items. I put it on the counter and I was going to take the trash out. So I put the items on the counter. I went to take the trash out. I came back and I looked at the items and I said, I can't eat it, can I? I said, I can't eat it, can I? I heard, nope. <laughs> Just like a big nope. I waited for this. I couldn't wait to eat this. <laughs> and now I couldn't eat it. I don't know why I couldn't eat it. I just couldn't eat it. So I threw it out and it's still in my trash now. And when I threw it, threw it out in the trash in, in my house, I said, <sighs> I don't feel like going, I said, I don't feel like going to the trash, like outside trash, because I have to walk a little ways to the trash in order to throw out. But it's like, I already knew if something was wrong with that item, then it would affect me spiritually, right? So I was just like, I'll throw it out in the morning, which is this, this morning. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to throw it out yet, which I am going to do it right when I get off of recording this. But this is what happened yesterday. So why I'm on now is to let you guys know how when you accept things from people, you to pay for people to pay attention to what happens after you receive something. So I receive these items and all of a sudden I can't pray. Oh, yeah, this is what Father God wanted me to say. So um, this is an a, a attack that I was aware of because Father God already showed me this person. He showed me, but it was the big burly dude with red hair. So. The big burly dude doesn't represent a person that's going to attack me. I mean, that specific burly dude, it's who represents the burly dude. So when the the, the guy, the big guy that I saw in that vision, he had the red hair. Um, what first came to me was menace, right? But I didn't dig it. I didn't dig into it. I just left it alone. And then that same burly dude 
was in that um, dream last night where I was going to put the key in and I stopped. So this morning I said, but I was aware of the attack. So I was aware of the attack, but I just didn't expect the attack. That's the thing. So whoever this message is for is aware of an attack and you are correct. So there's no time to second guess yourself. And if Father God already tell you something, pay attention. Because I could have went against Father God and ate this thing because I was waiting for it. I haven't had it in years. I wanted it and then ate it. And then I don't know what would happen. So it's like if Father God is telling you no, it doesn't matter what money you spent on a certain thing. Don't eat it. Don't engage in it. Throw it away. The best thing is don't leave it in your home. Take it outside because that's why I was attacked yesterday. So I don't know what is attached to that. I don't know what was attached to that, but because I was attacked in my sleep and I couldn't pray and it really took everything in me to start praying, that's serious. That's a serious situation, especially for me, for me not to be able to pray. So they was, of course, trying to cover. But but the thing is, I broke free of it before it was before it was sleep aroused, if that makes sense. Whoever this message is for would already had a heads up. This is a this is an attack that you are aware of. I I know why these attacks are happening. I just didn't expect the attack because of the status of this person. But anyway, it doesn't need to handle there. Um, don't judge a book by its cover. That's what I'm on here to tell you. It doesn't matter how someone looks or the words that's coming out their mouth. It's the intent behind it. So pay attention to what happens if you do accept something. If you got an attack, that person is attacking you spiritually. There's no if, if ands, buts about it. Pray about it. But this is for someone that Father God has already given the heads up regarding an attack. It's an attack. <laughs> it's an attack. This is confirmation that you're being attacked by this person. So you'll know if this message is for you because Father God already gave you a heads up regarding this person. And that's the person. Whoever Father God already showed you nudged you, whispered to you about a certain individual, that's the person that's attacking you. Most likely this is an attack um, that's going to be brought to your home. Um, yeah. So just be aware of this stuff. Not everyone is who they seem and people have motives and agendas. The only thing that I'm trying to figure out now is if she's ever done something to the person um, that we both know, if she's ever done something to is oh yeah, and that's exactly what came to me earlier too. That Black Widow thing, the Black Widow dream about the food. But I don't know. I have to pray more about it. But that that came to me as well yesterday and this morning regarding the consumption, um, the intake of um food. But still, if someone can give you a cough drop, and um, it make you sick. So it's like um, just to be aware of it. If the person is blind to it, they wouldn't know. So it's not like it's their fault or anything, but I know the intention behind that person is not good towards me for sure. Uh, why that is, I have an idea, but um, that's neither here nor there. Um, but that attack was serious because, oh yeah, that's right. I felt pain in that dream. I felt the pain in that dream. I didn't feel it when I woke up. So it's not like something was in my home. It was definitely a spiritual thing, but what, the, what she gave me gave legal right to access me spiritually. So because I took that and it was a gift in there, which was an extra, I gave her legal right to attack me in the spirit. So I already got the heads up not to eat it. But Father God already showed me that same spirit, that same attack, that same person that was going to attack me yesterday, already shared, he already showed me. And that's where I got menace from. Oh, yeah. Let me say uh, I looked up the definition of menace because menace came to me, but I still didn't have any other thing to go on. Um, a person or thing that is likely to cause harm, a threat or danger. So this person is a dangerous threat towards me, but she looks like the sweetest, innocent thing. <laughs> the most sweetest, innocent thing you could you could say. Um, but yeah, she's bigger than me, but still she looks like this most sweetest, innocent thing. And she is a threat and a danger that would want to cause me harm. So Father God already gave me a heads up on this attack. So Father God would have already given you the heads up on this attack. And whoever, the first person that comes to your mind that Father God been nudging you is the person that is attacking you. So pray to Father God for more clarification regarding what you're supposed to do regarding this person. Always stay alert on your surroundings and what you're receiving from people and how you feel when you receive it. If you feel off when you receive it, get rid of it. 
I just came on to tell you guys that. So just um just be aware on what's going on around you physically and spiritually and pray to God and pray to Father God for clarity regarding all things. I love you guys. I see you guys soon. God willing, God bless. Bye.